This is the daily video update for Monday, November 16th, 2020 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. I'm going to take a minute to give an overview of the next couple weeks here. This is very much a, a follow-up on the sermon for sun, from Sunday, so if you did not get a chance to see that, uh, it's available at this link um, at minute 24. Over the next few weeks of daily updates, I'm, I'm going to try and use these videos to highlight work that our members are doing to build a more just world. This week will feature the work of the Green Sanctuary Committee through an interview I'm recording this afternoon with Becky Sade. And then other areas will follow because pandemic or no pandemic, election or no election, this congregation is committed to the work of transforming ourselves and the world. And that's really important in this moment. And each Monday for the next few weeks, I'm going to pause these updates for a moment to talk about where we are with the pandemic in Lincoln. Churches are a place to disseminate public health information. And as we enter this new and concerning season of COVID-19 in our community, it's really important that we have all the information that we can. So let us be clear. Case numbers in Lincoln right now are frighteningly high. The City County Health Department reported over 1,700 cases in the last week. And to put that into perspective, it took us until the third week of July in 2020 to record our first 1,700 cases total. There are increasingly dire warnings coming from Nebraska Health, uh, Nebraska hospital systems about their capacity to respond to these numbers because remember, there is a delay between cases and hospitalizations. So what the hospitals are seeing right now is folks who became ill before the sharp spike in cases that we're seeing right now. <coughs> so here's what I said on Sunday. Knowing who we are and who we're not is very important. Self-differentiation is a good thing in both our collective and individual lives. And we, as members of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, are not a public health agency. What do I mean by that? Simply that it is not our job in this place to solve the pandemic. There are people working on that. And in the medium term, there's a cautious case for optimism that we have fewer days of pandemic ahead of us than are already behind us. But our role as we go into the ninth month of this pandemic and into a Nebraska winter, is to listen to medical advice, to do what we can to keep transmission rates low and to stay together as a community. That's all. Our job here, our mission as a community right now is not to cure the coronavirus. It is to weather the coronavirus, to come out the other side as intact as we can be. And we do this because it's the right thing to do. We do this because we're good citizens, but we also do this because of our faith, because we know that we are interconnected. It's important. It's an act of faith to wear a mask because preserving life is important. We're going to put off in-person meetings, even ones like memorial services that are really, really hard to delay. And I'm going to ask you not to travel for the ho holidays this year. I know that's hard. I haven't seen my sister in a year and with the pandemic like it is, we probably won't see each other in 2020. It is not fair that as we go into a time when we traditionally gather with families to celebrate the best of life and commiserate about the worst, that this is the time when it's most important that we not do that. Yet, life is not fair. The question of the religious community is how we respond to life, even when it doesn't seem fair. So we'll do what we can as a church to hold connection during this time. It's in the early stages, but I'm starting to plan some kind of Zoom gathering with food for the evening of Thanksgiving. 
we'll keep meeting on Thursday nights for worship. We'll keep putting out worship on Sunday. If other folks have ideas of how to build connection over this winter, reach out. We will make it happen. We don't need to solve the pandemic. There's at least two very promising vaccines on the horizon. One was announced this morning. And treatments are on the way. It's a different pandemic than it was in April. It's no longer this open-ended unknown. We know that this is going to end. We know pretty well how it's going to end. If this is a baseball game, we would just be coming out of the seventh inning stretch with the last few critical innings to go. But plenty of baseball games are won and lost in the ninth inning. So this is not the time to relax. This is a time to do everything we can to make sure that we get to the end of this whole. Be well, stay safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>